All right, hope everybody's having a great Thursday, and I have a lot, a lot of stuff to show off. I went into town to do run an errand, and I also went to the Goodwill bins, which was absolutely insane. Everything was mixed up there. All the clothes was mixed into the hard goods, and the glassware was mixed, and so it made for an awful, and a lot of people were it just way too crowded. I needed to get the heck out of there, but I had to wait till 10 o'clock for another store that I used, used to visit. I went to this antique store, and I drove downtown, downtown, and um, uh, first you see is this big, giant, huge homeless camp in one of the parks. So you just can't go to parks anymore. They've just been commandeered by people who don't have homes. And so that was just kind of like, ugh, who wants to go downtown and see that? Then there's like a whole block where the buildings are all cordoned off because uh, fenced off because they're going to be redeveloping that. There's construction everywhere, but nothing. And so I went to uh, what they call Tipton's um, Coins and Jewelry, but it's also a card shop. I haven't been there forever. So I went, drove to a spot, and then I drove, walked all the way to the main entrance. The main entrance was blocked off. And it says you need to go to this entrance. So I had to go up the stairs and through a parking garage and all that. And and across a little sky bridge or whatever. I was just, it's weird. So I had to go and um, get to Tipton's and then they had it closed off and there was a sign that said, but they let me in. The sign that said appointment only and there were some people in there, but um, anyway, I'll show off those stuff in a second here. I'll show you what I found at the bins. This was framed picture here, Hewlett Packard. It's some sort of print advertisement, like a, a proof or something like that. And um, I'm not sure what this is. But it also has an autograph there. Thanks, somebody. And it says, Publish Martha Stewart Living Technology. So I have no idea whose signature that is. I think it's an actual signature in there. But I couldn't tell. But I took that out of the frame and purchased that for a few cents. I don't remember. And these are really cool because I I collect a few um, table mats, place mats. And this one here has a Pepsi logo in the corner there, dated 1976. And that's Foghorn Leghorn and the, the guy that's the chicken hawk or whatever that's always trying to bother Foghorn Leghorn. And then they're just um, checkerboard pattern on the back from 1976. I don't know who made those, but it's got the Pepsi logo. And we got Sylvester and Tweety right here. And Tweety Bird is shooting out the balloon Sylvester over the city. And then again, there's the 1976 logo. Again, all this stuff was really in a huge pile of mess. And you couldn't figure out where anything was, so there might have been more. But that's what I found. Then I got some Life magazines at 39 cents a pound. I mean, uh, 39 cents a piece. And they smell pretty good, but they can be cleaned off. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that there. This is April 22nd, 1940. And that's the cover of that one. And I won't go through those because they take too long. Uh, there's the back ad of one of them. So really, really cool. And then here's a U.S. Tank Commander, 1940. Um, so that's really, really amazing to get that one in. Um, show you the ad on that one for Lucky Strike on the back there. That's really, really cool. And then this one is another very cool one. I only just bought a few of them because I'm not a huge magazine collector. And this one here says Girl Lifeguard on it. I just thought that was kind of an interesting cover. Again, from 1940. They went back to 1937, and I didn't get any of those. And the next thing I got was... Um, let's see if I can find it here. I got a bunch of postcards, and that makes up for that store being completely empty. Most of these are Oregon postcards, which I won't be able to use, but at one time I could have used them. I really wished I had those. And there's a few other state ones in there, and I think my whole bill was $3.80 or whatever at the Goodwill bins for all this huge stack of postcards. And and then I got this, um, had to throw some fabric around it. I This is dated Japan. I think this is an old Ken doll, but I'm not sure. Um, from Japan, perhaps. Uh, I think Japan was on his foot. I took a chance on it, and there's no, nothing uh, stranger than buying a doll without clothes, so I just threw some fabric scraps on it, and uh, we'll see if that has any value. I don't know if it's G.I. Joe or what it is, um, but very, very old, uh, probably 60s, early 70s. If you have any idea of what this stuff is, I have no idea. So there's that there, just because I'm a, partially a toy collector. Then I got one TTM in here, and this is from... Uh, Salt Lake City, Utah, and I got one golfer, J. Don Blake. I didn't know if I had any other cards of his or why I just sent that one, but that's all I got, and that will go in my binder, J. Don Blake, in huge, huge letters there. Very, very cool to get that one in. 
I uh, got one postcard that came in. This is one I just sent out, Postcards of the Past, Nostalgic and Western Art. And there's that one, the old guy sitting in front of the potbelly stove at the general store. And then we have Postcards of the Past, Lagunitas, California. Sorry, there's that one there. And my other stamp, unfortunately, got tore in half there. I used use the old C postage there. Camera's in a different spot there, so that's why it's... Uh, so there's that one. And I got not much else. I got a few, you know, miscellaneous envelopes. So there's that. Now, in the stuff you wanted to see here, um, so what I got at Tipton's here, if I can get all this in one video, I finally got my 1946 dime here. It looked like it had decent toning on it. You won't be able to see that in the holder there. Um, and I got my 1946 dime. They had a, a uncirculated dime. I wasn't really astounded with the quality there so uh, three dollars for this one the uh, the other one was five and this one looks like it had some nice toning on it so i figured i would get this one hopefully you'll be able to see that unfortunately it's in the plastic it will go in my binder so i'm not really worried about that they had an s one there too which i should have grabbed while i was there but i don't know we'll see but then i grabbed these these are 35 cents a pack i don't remember how many cards you get but we'll see what we get in these so let me just open up these very very quickly here 35 cents. As you say, you should buy all of them, but he sneaked a whole bunch of 91 flare in the middle of some of these. So first off, we have Mike Piazza. We have uh, Tim Pug. I'm trying to go through Benji Gill. McGuire, so, uh, McGuire um, uh, Mattingly. Raul Mondesi in a penny sleeve. Bobby Higginson. Jermaine Clark. John Schaefer. Pirates of Kip Wells. So this is always good TTM fuel, but uh, most of these look like they're people I won't be able to get. Uh, Devon White, probably. Or on Spawn. And they had a lot of packs there, too. A lot of Junk Wax era packs here. Mike Ribello. Uh, Brett Campbell. Angel Sanchez. Brian Stokes. They break up a lot of sets and pull the stars, too. Justin Hampson. Miguel Montero. Uh, Vinny Retino, Jeff Baker, some really big names there, so those might be ones I can get. Many Alexander and a Ryan Howard card that's thicker than oh, because I don't know. It looks like it's it's been glued together. Three cards have been glued together, but um, it looks like one card there, so I have no idea. So there's that one. Let's just open the last. Um, if I have time here, I'll try to get it all in one video here, and it looks like we've got a. Um, Seattle Mariners card here, shortstop of, um, I don't know, is this an A-Rod? Uh, first Canseco, then Barry Bath, Alex Rodriguez. I believe that's an Alex Rodriguez card there. So um, sometimes you can hit really big stuff in here. Uh, well, I mean, stuff that they wouldn't know it's big. Uh, Knobloch. I'm not interested in these Sports Illustrated cards here, but we'll see. There's another one there. And Carcionon. If you see anything that uh, really I'm missing here, Edgar Martinez. I used to buy lots of these and I'd be like, oh man, what do I do with all these cards here? Era leaders. I've never seen any of these before. Never. Super glossy. Scott Erickson. Todd Hilton. Fred McGriff. And then there was a bunch of these, which you know are my favorite cards in the world. I'll probably give those away. Um, in a joke package or something like that. But they had a ton of those mixed in there. I mean, at the 35 cents a pack, good grief. That's like buying cords in a Carter, quarter box. Stan Javier. These are way better than Fairfields. And I used to get these all the time, but it's just a real chore to drive downtown and even figure out. And there's a nice card there, too. Three, four more. Oh, my gosh. It's going on forever. Okay. I, oh. there's Irod, and you never know, I might have a whole set of these turkeys here. Wouldn't that be something? Rolando Arojo, Kerry Wood, a lot of forgotten names to me anyway. Jeff Cirillo, Chuck Finley, Trevor Hoffman, Jeff Cirillo, Todd Helton, looks like there might be a Barry Larkin. Giambi, and highlights card of David Wells, I believe. 
Then we got Mike Pizza. And we got a bunch of these. I don't need to bore you with all of these here. One has a yellow back here, so I got a Palmero. And I haven't looked at any of these to see if there's any rookies or stars in there, but uh, that is that, or short prints or whatever. There's a uh, Devin Williams. Okay, three more. Three more. Ty Detmer. So I grabbed a football one, Brian Bosworth. Chris Carson. D.D. Westbrook, Sam Hubbard, Brandon Cooks to 99. I'm just... <laughs> Brandon Cooks to 99. Travis Kelsey, Adrian Peterson, that guy, that guy, Jeff George, and somebody stuck to him, and a bunch of more modern football here, and a bunch of these, which I have don't have any more of, but now I do, so there's that stuff. Two more packs here. Brandon Cooks to 99. Then we got some uh, Chrome. That's cool. Jeff Edmonds. More of those. So we got a bunch more of those. Eckersley. So I might go through those and see what how much of a set that I might have. Puzzle Piece. Thankfully, there's not too many of those. Doug DeSenses. Bill Gulkson. And uh, Warren Brewstar. So those might be TTM Fuel and more of these. I just got rid of a whole bunch of those, as I said. And then last packet here, it looks like Chipper Jones. Uh, he, the guy there, Jeff, usually puts um, he's That was not his day there. Uh, puts a star or two on the front and back. Uh, Preston Wilson. And uh, it's fairly generous. Of, but a lot of people complain they're all commons and stuff. But who cares? You know, if you're just a set builder or a commons builder or want really sick cards like this upper deck checklist star rookie of... Our buddy uh, Tim Salmon. Amazing, amazing, amazing Tim Salmon card. I've wanted that forever, and I got it in a junk pack. Then we got, like, uh, that guy, that guy, Javi Lopez, Dan Wilson, and we got a bunch of these bazooka cards here. So amazing, amazing stuff. My time is up. Hopefully this will load. Loading stuff. Uh, my trout! Just kidding. And, uh... Neat, 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 neat. Sporting news. Thank you for watching.